Welcome one and all to the Work of Wrestling YouTube. My name is Tim Kale and I am the host and creator of the Work of Wrestling podcast and website. My pronouns are he, him, his. And for today I'll be reading an excerpt of my article, It's Time, Triple H. Remember to like and share this video with all your pro wrestling friends. Connect with me on social media, at Work of Wrestling on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And subscribe so you never miss a new video. Go to workofwrestling.com to read the full article. Thank you very much. It is time, one more time, to go to work on the work of wrestling. I'd like to know that Triple H has his finger on the pulse of professional wrestling fans, and that he's not insulted when fans don't cheer or boo the right way. In the past, a disconnect formed between fan and promotion, where the WWE blatantly plowed ahead with their chosen prospect despite consistent auditory input in opposition to that choice. The fans would then feel as though they weren't being listened to, occasionally resulting in hot crowds attempting to hijack segments and shows. As an analyst and as a fan, I'd like to see an end to that dynamic. I want WWE and the fans to be on the same page. Perhaps this is the big creative swing I'm looking for from Triple H. A willingness to listen and adapt. I'd like to rest assured, particularly as we near another WrestleMania season, that the most over or popular wrestler gets the story or push they deserve. Take, for example, the aforementioned Bloodline, arguably the best thing in professional wrestling right now. As Sami Zayn has embedded himself more and more in the story, the more beloved he's become. This is because he's a sympathetic character, yearning for acceptance. It's irrelevant whether he's a heel, member of a heel group. His goals are relatable, even endearing. He's also just an excellent performer, delivering a stellar performance. Fans don't differentiate between the character and the performance. Put another way, modern wrestling fans cheer good performances and boo bad performances, regardless of a character's moral alignment. Hence why Roman Reigns is cheered when he asks a new town to acknowledge me, and why the Boston crowd came unglued when Jey Uso finally embraced Sami Zayn at Survivor Series. The fans are just enjoying this great story that's being told to them one week to the next. And we can all see what's going to happen from, from a mile away, which isn't a bad thing at all. The bloodline is going to turn on Sami Zayn. If Triple H doesn't want the fans to get behind Sami Zayn after that happens and cheer him all the way to a main event WrestleMania match against Roman Reigns, then I really don't know what to say. The fans will rally behind Sammy the moment he's betrayed. He'll become the most sympathetic character in the company and therefore slot naturally into the very open top babyface spot. No one's going to be cheering him because they want him to rescue the tag titles from the clutches of the Usos. Fans will want something better than that concession prize. All right, everyone, that about does it for this video. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ears. It is greatly appreciated. Go ahead and like and share this video with all your pro wrestling friends. Also, follow me on the social media gimmicks at Work of Wrestling on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe to this YouTube ch channel so you never miss a new video. And also read the full article at workofwrestling.com. I got t-shirts at Pro Wrestling Tees, so go to prowrestlingtees.com slash workofwrestling to pick up four different designs. And also become a patron of my Patreon, where for two five dollars a month, you get two exclusive episodes of the Work of Wrestling podcast that you can't get anywhere else. That's patreon.com slash workofwrestling. All right, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Look forward to talking to you, with you again next week. But until then, go out there and find yourself your moment of pop. And why the Boston crowd came unglued when Jey Uso finally embraced Sami Zayn at Survivor Series. The fans are just annoying. <laughs>